What is fault loop impedance? Fault loop impedance is the opposition to fault current found in an electrical installation. There are some things out of our control. Voltage is fixed by the supply authority at 230 volts AC. Current is variable, dependent on the load. Total earth fault loop impedance is approximately equal to the sum of impedances of all the circuit components. So we need to protect our cables, people and animals from any potential shock. Just like this. Here we have an electric motor connected to the main switchboard and it has a fault. If I touch the metal frame of the motor, I could get an electric shock or worse, be electrocuted. This is called touch voltage. We need to automatically disconnect the circuit. Notice what happens. The fault current tries to find a path back to the source. In this case, through our earth conductor. So our fault loop current is heading back to the switchboard. In our switchboard, it flows from our earth link to the main neutral link. Once there, it exits out to the supply neutral. If our fault loop impedance is in accordance with AS3000, our circuit breaker trips and I'm safe. Our protective earth system and circuit breaker are working together. But if our fault loop impedance is high, remembering impedance opposes current flow, then maybe our circuit breaker won't trip. And that's what we'll learn in the following tutorials. AS3000 tells us that ZS equals nominal phase voltage, 230 volts, divided by prospective fault current. Too much Z, impedance, means not enough IA, fault current, which means our circuit breaker can't trip or won't trip quick enough to save lives. Remember, our fault loop impedance path includes the supply authority's distribution transformer. So a special meter, called, funnily enough, a fault loop impedance meter, can be used to prove that our fault loop impedance is low enough to allow our circuit breaker to trip. And that's that.